Russia tomorrow. Russian opposition figure Ilya Yashin was supposed to be sentenced in a Moscow court this week, but a bomb threat has led the presiding judge to postpone the hearing. State prosecutors asked the Mishansky court in Moscow on Wednesday for a nine-year sentence for the opposition leader, stemming from charges of deliberately spreading fakes about the Russian army. The maximum sentence under Russia's relatively new criminal code article on fakes about the army is 10 years. Yashin was charged after broadcasting a live stream on his social media channel about civilian killings in Bucha by the Russian army. In his own defense, Yashin claimed that he had been objective during the video clip in question as he had included Russia's official position on the events in Bucha. Prosecutors said Yashin was motivated by political hatred in spite of knowing about Russia's peace and security measures. Prosecutor has also asked that the politician be barred from using the internet for four years after his release from the penal colony. But for the second time this month, Yashin's court trial was interrupted and postponed as an evacuation of the courtroom was conducted and a search for explosives was carried out. Yashin has been behind bars since summer and has continued to plead his innocence. He is one of several opposition figures currently held in Russian custody under this new law, which came into effect shortly after the February 24th invasion of Ukraine. Yashin's colleague from the Krasnoselsky Municipal District City Council, Alexei Gurinov, was sentenced this year to seven years in prison on the same charges that Yashin now faces. This week, a Moscow court rejected an appeal of the journalist Ivan Safronov, who was sentenced to 22 years in prison for treason. Safronov was convicted in September of passing data and information to Czech intelligence services. Russia's FSB refused to share details on the specific charges, claiming national security privilege, and even withheld this information from Safronov's own lawyers. An independent investigation conducted by journalists from Projekt found multiple instances where Safronov's alleged secret information was widely available on public websites. Sentencing for Yashin was rescheduled for later in the week, but his final statement in court before the evacuation was an eloquent summary of his court case and a direct message to Russian President Vladimir Putin. I must remain in Russia, I must speak the truth loudly, and I must stop the bloodshed at any cost. It physically pains me to think how many people have been killed in this war, how many lives have been ruined, and how many people have lost their homes. You cannot be indifferent, and I swear I don't regret anything. It's better to spend 10 years behind bars as an honest man than quietly burn with shame over the blood spilled by your government. Mr. Putin, you've brought about a horrible tragedy for the Ukrainian people who will probably never forgive us for it. But you're not just waging a war on Ukrainians. You're at war with your own citizens too. You're sending off hundreds of thousands of Russians to war. Many will return disabled or lose their minds from what they've seen and gone through. To you, this is just a death toll, a number in a column. But to many families, this means the unbearable pain of losing a husband, a father, or a son. Remember that every new day of the war brings new victims. Enough. We operated in Russia for 12 years, and the government tried to get rid of us three times. We had to leave, forced out of the country by new repressive laws after the first week of the war. Our freedom crushed by the authorities. We survived, started working from Europe, and now we are watched by millions of people every day. There's no other independent news channel in Russian. We have now decided to tell the truth about Russia in English as well. So that you could get news about Russia, the war in Ukraine, and Russian society directly from the source. We want to tell you firsthand what is really happening in Russia. Subscribe to TVRA Newsroom on YouTube and let's take a look at our future together.